All right, welcome to the centripetal circuit. This is where we do our testing. The important thing to note is under the options that you have used custom controls for this car checked for each car that you're going to set up. This allows it to create an individual control configuration. And we'll jump back out of here and take a look at that now. All right, so the first thing we want to do is make sure we start with a fresh calibration file. So we navigate to Documents, iRacing, and then in Setups, the car that you want to set up. And you'll see this Joy Calib file. I always want to make a backup, so I right click, copy, right click, paste. And then come here and just delete the extension. So now that we've made a copy of this, we can go ahead and delete this one. Blow it out of there. Close this. And we'll get back in the sim. All right, here we are in the sim. We're at the centripetal circuit. We're on the baseline setup. We need to calibrate our pedals to create that configuration file for them. So click on pedals, press and release, and you notice release is the max number, in my case 65,535. When I push the pedals, it goes to zero. And back, same with the brake, up to zero and back to the max number. And the same with the clutch and back to max. See it working here. Up here you get full deflection, full deflection, full deflection. Now let's jump in the car and see where they actually lock up. We'll be watching the input here in the center of the screen. Get a nice long run. I don't think we have to get a lot of speed up. But Sixty-five or seventy percent. Remember, this is a high downforce car. So as you slow down, you're going to be losing downforce. Mechanical grip cars are set up the same way, just. They're not as dependent on the speed, the arrow grip. All right, so let's call that 70. Let's call it 70%. All right, back on the desktop. Take a look at the Joy Calib file we just created in documents iRacing set up the car we're working on, in this case, the IndyCar. There's a file we just created by recalibrating our pedals. We right click on it, we come down here, we open it with Notepad++. That's my favorite text editor. Uh, link in the description below. And you see our calibrated minimum is zero, calibrated max is 65, 535. And remember it went from the max number up to zero with full pedal deflection and then back with pressure off the pedals it's back to 65,535 there's the other way which we'll call option one is the pedal starts at zero goes up to 65,535 or whatever your max fidelity is it could be 255 or anywhere in between 
and then back to zero for no pressure on the pedal. We'll call that option one. Option two is what my pedal does. It starts at the max number goes up to zero with full pedal pressure and then back to the number back to there to make this modification you grab a calculator i just happen to have one right here yeah i'm sorry there is math involved but remember we said the brakes locked up at 70 percent or thereabouts so we need to add the difference that 30 percent difference 100 percent being max we need to make our new max at 70. So to do that, we need to add that 30% to the top end of the pedal travel, to make it think it has that much more travel. So for option one, we take our number 65535 five, and we add 30%, which is 19,660. 85,195. 0.5, you can make it 195, 196. It's not going to make that big a difference. So you would come here to your brake calibrated max and input 85195. You would save it, file, save, and go back in and test it. If, like in my case, that number goes the other way, that back, and that's our zero. And we need to move we need to move our maximum from zero over to the left of a number line so that it thinks it has that amount. And we said that number was Multiply by 0.3 for your 30%, 19,660. So we come here, make that negative 19,660. So in effect, what we're doing is taking the pedal input and just moving it down the game input. File, save, and now if your brake factor is at zero, these numbers represent 70% maximum in-game pedal travel when you mash your brake pedal as hard as you can. But, then there's always a but, we have our brake force curve. This is what the brake force slider in-game actually does. It goes from zero and for this, you, because it's using this in, as a dividing number, you can't divide by zero. So you put something in here, 0 0.0001. And you see that if you're set to zero, you have a straight line. So that 25% of pedal input equals 25% adjusted value. 50, 50, 75, 75, 100, 100. If this is set to the max number, which in game is 5.0, you see it adds this big curve, big progressive curve here. It starts out real slow so that at 50%, you're actually only inputting about 10% of the value in game. 75% is a little above 25, maybe 30, 30% pressure in game. And it does go 100 to 100 at the end. That's way too much. Need having to press 75% of your throttle pressure to just to get 25% of input is too much. So I like to set it at 2.5 to start. It gives me a good curve here. Nice, nice curve, but I can, I can tweak in game if I need to make any adjustments. 
Uh, 75% gives me 50% of the in-game value. And remember, our in-game value max that we will have now is only going to be 70, 70%, right about here, at 100% pedal travel. So what we do is compress this, this curve. But in order to reach that 70%, come across here, remember these are 12 and a half. 50, 65, 62 and a half, 62 and a half to 75. So you're probably right about here, just to make it easy. 75 plus 12 and a half would be 87. So our new value over here, now let's minimize that again, is 87%, not 70. So now we take our 65535 times by the difference from 87 to 100 would be 23. So before we had 30%, now we're only taking out 23%. So multiply 0 0.23, 15,073. So this new number is minus 15,073. If you were doing option one, 65535 plus 23%, that would be 80,608 down here for option one. File, save, and we go back and try it out. All right, so here we are back in the sim. Go to options, calibration, our pedal, throttle, our clutch, and our brake. Set with the new max. I got a max pressure, full, full deflection on my brake pedal. And you see it doesn't go all the way to the top. It goes up to about 80 some percent. What we need to do now is set our force factor and watch as I move this force factor across, see how it brings the max down. I'm still holding the same pressure. But so we, we set it to 2.5 to be right in the middle. Give you a nice curve at the bottom, plus it allows you to uh, have a little bit of wiggle room to adjust. So let's jump in the car and see how it does. Take off. Pull this mice pedal to the floor. Depending on your downforce, because remember this is a aero dependent car. You may may want to adjust that up and down a little bit. And let's take a look at what that does. So let's take it back down a little bit. Let's take it down to 1.5 Yeah, see they lock up there now. And you lose control. You don't want to lose control. Okay, split the difference. Let's go to two. Two might work. Sound like it's locking up the rear. Make a fresh patch here. Yeah, rear locked up. See that? Let me turn around here. Tires. Tires locked up. 
And we set it back to 2.5. Cast one more time. And max pedal. Bring you to a nice smooth stop. Now obviously you turn the wheel, you'll start locking up. So I hope that helps you out. If it does, be sure to like and subscribe. Share, share the link. Help get the word out for everybody. And as always, thanks for watching.